Been many thought one of Colorado's weirdest festivals was dead for good. Frozen Dead Guy Days will live on. The festival is moving to Estes Park after the festival's relations with the town of Nederland rotted away. Visit Estes Park and the Stanley Hotel will team up to host that festival with its signature events like the coffin races. It'll happen on St. Patrick's Day weekend next year. The festival originated in the wake of a 90s controversy over the keeping of a frozen body in a shed. That man's family hoped to start a cryogenics lab in Nederland. Now, the new owner of the festival will be John Cullen. He's the owner of the Stanley Hotel. He is looking forward to the challenge, he told me. He doesn't want to charge admission, and he says Estes Park is better suited than Nederland for hosting large events. I think it would be a mistake to make it some type of a rich person's exclusive and use pricing as a way to uh, decrease the number of people. Uh, I think that would be exactly the opposite of what I would want to see happen here. One of the real difficulties in Nederland is that it only has a couple hundred rooms. Whereas Estes Park has thousands, and the ability for it to get fun and weird uh, and not have to drive down Canyon is probably a pretty good thing. Yeah, hoping for people to stay overnight in Estes Park and all of this. Cullen plans to create a nonprofit to run it, saying that they want to devote any of the money raised mm -hmm. to workforce housing and child care. So it'll have like a social impact yeah. as well. That's incredible. And so glad it's going to survive, right? I think it's just cool. Yeah, it's you great like fun. it. Yeah. It's a